Hello and welcome back to Sarasi Plays Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Where we last left off, we had just gotten through Ayers Rock, and I had mentioned that there was a multi-elemental summon in there. Um, and I ended up going back to find it once I figured out what the heck I was doing. Um, so I'm going to quickly put all of uh, Sheba's Ginny Jin on uh, standby in order to show you off the new summon that I unlocked. So that should be fun. Right? Please be right. <laughs> okay. Any second now. Wow, this is a long time with no battles. What is happening? Oh, that would explain it. I had had a void active while I was going back through the dungeon. It only took me like seven minutes with the shortcuts I unlocked, so that was considerably less of an investment than I was worried it would be, so... Let's, uh, let's see what happens here. She's so cute! <laughs> She's definitely one of the prettiest summons. Oh, that dino never stood a chance. Holy shit. Okay. Now we can probably get through Garo. Or Garo! I don't know how you want to pronounce it, but... Werewolves! Fortunately, I don't think there will ever be a shortcut here. <laughs> or fortunately, I don't know. I kind of like this meandering trail. It really emphasizes how isolated the village is, and I love that. I really love that. I always loved this city. Our village is more accurate. Well, at least we're here on the full moon night again. I don't know how we keep getting that timing right, but it worked. Um... Before I go and see the werewolf we saw before, I kind of want to get something that we saw here before. Yeah, you guessed it. That treasure chest. Because you know me, I need me some treasure. Always need me some treasure. Okay. What is it? Ooh. No sword. Moon air. I approve. This is cool. And that'll of course be Jenna's weapon because light blades are her thing. Awesome. Now we can go to that area up there and finally see what Oh, you're back. What? Outsiders here? Runs away. Okay, guess we're gonna do this again. You were already seen us, but okay. As you probably guessed, it's gonna. Oh! 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 Look, it's that werewolf. Oh no! <laughs> Poor thing. It was right there. Let's go find him, Felix. He's very excited about this. That's kind of alarming. Uh, so that's a dead end. Cool. This cave is so thematic. I love the stalagmites. And I know that they're stalagmites because they're on the ground. They're stalactites if they're on the ceiling. And you know how I remember that, my little trick? Is that I remember that in order for it to stay stuck to the ceiling, it has to be on tight. Yeah, you can use that on your science tests. Because I'm all smart and shit. You know? Here we go. Felix, wait! Hmm. Where could that werewolf have gone? Do you think we lost him somewhere? No, I don't think so. I hope we didn't. Or rather, I'd be quite unhappy if we did. <laughs> what was that? It sounded like a wolf growling, didn't it? My hearing is not so very good, but there was something. Perhaps we should search this area more thoroughly. There is no need. Look, he's using Synergy. How? Fear not, this child is harmless. 
He does look kind of small. Uh, tell me, who are you? How did you come to be here? I should like to ask you the same question. Could it be? Do you outsiders possess the power to reveal the unseen? Yes, we do. Of course, I was certain that you must. Caro! Yes, you are correct. They must have passed the challenge of Ayr's Rock. Er, uh, how come that kid doesn't talk like you? When we become werewolves, speaking the human tongue becomes more difficult. But you can. You must be someone special, then. <laughs> special, perhaps. Why don't you just call me Maha? So, I assume you can also use Whirlwind. If you learned Reveal on Air's Rock, you must also know Whirlwind. Yeah. That's right. I think we can tell Maha that we're adepts. Ow! What did he say? I don't understand. He wanted to know what an adept is. A question I would like answered as well. Adepts tap the power of elemental energies to generate forces like whirlwind. Elementals? You mean the four elements? The powers of earth, fire, water, and wind? That is correct. These elements together comprise everything in our world. Interesting. Very interesting. Ow! Um, what did he say that time? He asked if there were no longer any need to hide from you. Oh, excellent use of the subjunctive, Maha. Why did he have to hide here in the first place? Ow! Ah, 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 no doubt most would find the sight of a werewolf rather unnerving. You are sadly correct. Many consider ours an accursed race. And if they found you in your werewolf form? Once our people were burned at the stake as abominations. They called this purification. Horrible. But this little one, he won't get excited and try to bite, will he? Ooh. Child abuse. Child, return to your home. Ow. Don't worry, we can trust them. Go back home now. Ow. They are adepts, not unlike us werewolves. They guard an ancient secret. We can trust them. They will not betray us to the world. Oof! <laughs> <laughs> it has grown quite late. Why don't you go to the inn and rest? But then... I will not leave this place. You aren't going home? When I learned reveal, I lost my human form. The wild is my home now. So, Master Maha, you always look this way? And the little one? The child changed because he looked directly at the full moon. So by tomorrow morning, he will have returned to his human form again. Correct. Now, let us retire. Awesome. We has a friend. <laughs> Felix and party stayed at the inn. You folks didn't sleep much last night. You don't look like you got any rest at all. Master Maha told us all about you. Don't you worry about the bill, it's on us. I don't know why he's Texan. <laughs> Farewell, friends. Oh, this is cute. Oh, it's, mm. He likes us. That's so cute. Hmm. 
Good luck, buddy. I mean, I already cleared it out and set everything up for the, um, I set it all up with shortcuts and everything, so you'd probably actually do fine. <laughs> Yay! That's awesome. I'm glad you all trust me. Yeah, kinda. We're, we're pretty weird. Hmm. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> That's really not how it works. Oh, 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 I can buy equipment now. Awesome. Uh, nope. Garbage. Broadsword. Nope. Hunter's sword. Nope. All the I've already got like legendary weapons from treasure chests. So all the stuff you're selling me is actually garbage, friend. I'm sorry. Treasure. Ooh, safety boots. Lower speed. No way. I love my speed. Uh, leather armor. Nope. Oops, clothes. That's actually much better. You still have a travel vest from the beginning of the game? Dear God, it's a good thing we found this. Huh. Oh, I also gotta make Sheba... Um, she's gotta have her Purit card again. Wow, we just have really good equipment, it looks like. Oh, come on. Oh my god, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Okay, okay, we got this. Uh, what do I want to sell? I already know um, a void, so I don't need that. There we go, sell that garbage and sell that. And that. And that. And that. Uh, yeah, I'll sell that. Because I need the coins. <laughs> I know someone who knows uh, remove poison, so I don't need that. I don't need that. And I don't need that. So I'll keep the herbs for now because I might need them just in case. So you want this one, the mysterious card. Oh, those never... Huh, interesting. Oh, I should talk to those people too and read their minds. Yeah, armor is kind of useful. Instincts will protect you. Oh, that's not the best bet. <laughs> It's amazing how they have so many weapons in a tiny village like this where everyone's living in clay huts. No, not at all. I'm a tolerant person. Oh. Ah, uh, we're not quite werewolves. We're kind of different. Hmm. Curious. Too bad you... Unfortunately, you never meet them in this game. There are beast people in the game that will not be mentioned, but they're not really related? It's kind of weird. Hmm. Yep. We're pretty powerful. <laughs> they just don't get it. Oh, God. I'm the only one here who isn't special. Please, let somebody answer my wishes and make me special too. I need a screenshot of this one. That's great. Ow! Sorry about that. Oh, This is so cute. Gotta talk to you too, friend. Other mountains like Air's Rock. Well, it's a good thing you mentioned that because there are actually one of these rocks for each of the four elements. And in each one you will learn a special power. 
Ooh, Aqua Rock. I remember that one. I mean, I remember all of them, of course, but some of them I remember with more infamy than the others. Cough, Earth Rock, or Gaia Rock. Yeah, it's Gaia Rock. Oh, God. That one's a nightmare. The first time it was, at least. Yes, it's true. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I heard his thing. Oh. This makes me sad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, old man. I believe in you for what it's worth. Aww. He is the little werewolf. Why would luck be dumb? <laughs> Okay, I think we're going this way. Yeah, let's go with that. Ah, you came. But I'm. I've been waiting for you. Would you mind telling me a little more about werewolves? You want to know the reason we possess the power to transform into beasts? Ah, well, I, uh, actually, yes. Do you find it strange that we can change our shapes? Well, um, yes. But surely changing one's shape is not really all that unusual. What are you getting at? Think about the caterpillar for a moment. When the time is right, does it not transform into a beautiful butterfly? Well, yes, it's only natural. And the pill bug and hedgehog, do not they not change their shapes to protect themselves? I have heard of these creatures, yes. And many amphibians possess the power to change color at will, correct? In light of all this, do you mean to tell me that you find werewolves so abnormal? Hmm, well, to be honest, I hadn't thought of it that way before. Perhaps you simply did not give it enough thought. Oh, insulting! I, sir, am a scientist! Indeed, a scientist. That is impressive. <laughs> I have spent a great deal of time thinking about werewolves. For a time, I even felt cursed to have been born a werewolf. But after taking a more objective look at nature, I realized that weaker species have survived by evolving, by transforming. Don't you agree? I'm glad to know that in Wayard, everyone unquestionably accepts evolution. That's better than I can say about my country. <laughs> Think about it for a moment. Without changing their bodies with we weapons and armor, humans would be very weak creatures indeed. That's actually not true. Humans are objectively terrifying. We can regenerate our wounds at an astronomical rate compared to other beings. We can keep running for days compared to other beings. We have endurance out the wazoo. It's Humans are scary creatures. Anyway, that's enough for me. I believe that evolving into werewolves is just one way for humanity to survive. But that's... Of course, there's no way I can prove this theory. But I felt that our ability to use whirlwind was evidence of this. Whirlwind? Why? I had thought only the people of Garrow could use whirlwind. It was a gift known only to werewolves, to Garrow's pack and that only a chosen few could use Reveal. But now I find that you too can use these. What does it all mean? Why are you able to use Whirlwind, and what is an adept? Master Maha, do you know of a continent called Angara? It lies far north of the Eastern Sea. Angara? In the middle of Angara, there is a peak called Mount Aleph. Mount Aleph. 
that it's true. Our legends say this peak has stood since the world began. If Mount Alef does exist, then perhaps our legends are true. It does exist. These two hail from the village at the base of Mount Alef, a village called Vale. They come from Mount Alef. Incredible. And they are both adepts. And while their powers may vary, everyone from Vale is an adept to a certain degree. Then does that not make them like us in Garo? In Vale, the myths say that Mount Aleph itself gave birth to the adepts. This is not what the legends of Garo tell us. As a people, they are quite gifted, but it goes far beyond that. The mystical stones on Mount Aleph, the Synergy Stones, can I just say that I'm loving Creighton's lecture mode, they are closely linked to the powers of the townsfolk. Synergy Stones, you say? If there were similar stones in Garrow, it might explain your powers as well. And what manner of stones are these Synergy Stones? You've seen them, Maha, the Shining Stone at the heart of Aris Rock. I know the stone you speak of, but... Ayers Rock is quite far from Garrow. I don't see how it could affect the people here. I wonder, could it be the wind? Yep. You probably figured it out for yourself already, Felix. There were strong winds blowing within Ayers Rock. Those winds would carry far. Carry? Carry what? Oh, you're so dense. The power of the Synergy Stone. How is that possible? How could the stone's power be carried on the wind? Do not belittle the power of the wind. One of my favorite lines. Given time, the wind can grind great mountains down to sand. I mean, the wind at Air's Rock was strong enough to blow us off the ground. So why couldn't the wind carry particles of the stone all the way to Garrow? She, she's right! She's right! Those particles from the Synergy Stone must be charged with its power. This explains why your Synergy is weaker than that of Vale's people. You've been exposed to smaller particles. The wind patterns might also affect who among us in Garrow can use whirlwind. Wow, they're just sciencing the shit out of this. Of course, this is all mere conjecture, but it does offer some clues. Thank you. Um... It's Sheba. I'm pleased to meet you. Oh, haven't we given you our names, Master Maha? I am Craden. This is Jenna. And Felix. You must permit me to thank you for all you've done. No, no, please. We don't need any thanks. We didn't do much, did we? That's too bad. I was going to give you this. What? It's a ginny. A ginny? Is that what you call them? When he is with you, he adds to your power. He is very helpful. I suppose you'll be continuing your journey now. Yeah, we would. So you intend to travel by sea. That is a long journey. In that case, I think you will get more use out of this chili than I will. Oh, excuse me. Yes! More power. Ether restores PP. Another chinny. Talk about lucky. <laughs> this is a great gift. We are quite thankful. You don't need to thank me. Just take care on your travels. Good luck with the werewolf thing, Maha. Well, Felix, we must be going now. Hmm. Oh, I really want to show you what's in here. 
This is his where he lives. He literally lives in a barren cave. Look at this shit. There's nothing down here. Like, holy shit. Oh, that's a really cute cutscene. They, they kind of just like ramble and try to explain the way things are working in this world. But I think it's really cute, like the shared sense of discovery and Creighton gets so excited when he's teaching things and they have really good banter and I love it. And I just, oh, I love this entire part of the game. <laughs> So yeah, I think that's it for Garo. We have completed this part of the game. Uh, let's see. Nope, don't want that. Yeah, you're gonna stay as a witch for now. Witch, witch, the wicked witch. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> Okay. Goodbye, Garo. It was fun. Let you be your furry selves. And we'll continue on. So we have now crossed the majority of Ocenia. We gotta backtrack to the Yampi Desert, because now we can finally get through there. That was my Ginny uh, getting ready again. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna just try something quick just to see if this is an option. Is an illusionist good for uh, Jenna? What is on the illusionist? You know, a few decent spells, but honestly, not much that's better than the witch, so fuck it. Yeah, I'd much rather have you as a witch than a illusionist. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Like I said, these uh, these paths can get kind of kind of confusing and hectic. Oh, wow. That was a lot of damage. We have gained in power. It can be hard to tell as you're advancing through the game just how much stronger you're getting, but it's pretty apparent right there. Another yawn coming on. <sighs> okay. Awesome. What I'm really interested in is how did the party acquire this map of the entire world? Like, for real, though. There's a lot of islands there that no one's ever heard or seen of. Heard of or seen. Sorry. <laughs> English is still confusing sometimes. Oh, almost there. <laughs> was going to say okay, but guess not. <laughs> Yeah, this desert will not be threatening anymore because we are more than sufficiently powerful to power through here. So... Yep, any day now. This desert is pretty gigantic though. So they're all gonna be in the oasis most likely. Unless they've moved on. I don't know how they could, though, since we're kind of doing our own thing here. If they couldn't get through without Synergy, then... And we couldn't get through with Synergy, then they're kind of... Yeah, they're still stuck here. <laughs> well, sorry y'all have been sitting on the Oasis, but there are worse places to be, right? <laughs> Okay. There's a cave there. Oh, 
Okay, let's get through here. Okay. No, 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 not that way. <gasps> That's the wrong way. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so uh, this is about where we left off last time. So we're going to resume here next time on Sarasi Plays Golden Sun, The Lost Age.